Hello and welcome to a, another tutorial by Visual Magic. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this starry night sky. Okay, just to get uh, started, I'm going to Alt Backspace fills the layer with black. Control J copies the layer. small stars and on this layer I'm going to add noise amount 10% Gaussian monochromatic image adjustment brightness and contrast minus 30 and 70 Control J. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and, and the type. Large stars on this uh, this new layer. Large stars. I'm going to again apply adjustment brightness and contrast. This time I will be supplying minus 100 and here 50. Then um, from here on I'm going to increase the star size. So zoom out then control T hold down the alt and the shift key that increase the individual star size on the large star layer now zoom in or fit screen um, next thing I'm going to control I invert then control L hit the levels What I'm doing is moving the sliders till there's a faintly speckled background on the back with the individual stars seen easily with less of a background scatter. Those are, represent the large stars, right? Hit OK. Yeah. Now I'm going to control invert again. And the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create, um, change the blending mode to the screen. Mm, there's a pattern. I don't see it, but there's a slight pattern there. And what I'm going to do is and control T, mm, a little bit more. Zoom out a little bit more again, control T, and then Change the size to uh, not changing the size, but I'm rotating it by 180 degrees to avoid uh, to reduce that uh, pattern that we had there. Okay. Okay. Now we have a very basic star field. Um. Fit screen, a very basic star field. Now, what we want to do is um, maybe at this point would be a good idea to save. I won't say, but you can uh, save this to a PSD file, save as, and save it as a PSD file. And from here on out, you want what you want to try to do is uh, the intuitive part of this exercise. It's just uh, what you want to do is take an eraser. I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to pause the movie and I'll do it and then you can then see how it looks um, on each layer the small stars and the large stars layer you want to erase so what I took an eraser um, size about 30 uh, 30 is about good and you might want to zoom in a little bit yeah, that's good and back to the eraser and then just start erasing 
Like I'm I'm racing now on the large star level. And I just race certain areas just like that. And just randomly, because uh, that's the thing with the starry night sky. It's, everything is random, right? There's, there's no... Um, controlled environment, like a mathematical uh, environment, as, like, a, like a computer would uh, output, right? Even this sky that we have now has a certain amount of uh, precision to it, which you want to try to... Uh, avoid so that's basically what you're doing and you can see it here what's happening so you can also switch to the other layer and do the same thing there just uh, erasing and you can see it here what's happening where you're racing on the other layer because that's what you want to do it's just certain areas are just completely black right where there's no stars at all because that means that both layers have been erased in the same spot and what I'm going to do is going to finish this off, and uh, then I'll, after I'll pause the video, and then I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now you can see approximately how it looks once I've erased from the small and the large stars. Obviously, as you can see, I've erased a lot more from the large star area, because there are less large stars in the sky than there are small ones. So, now next step, I'm going to the flattened image. Now, on this part, I'm going to... Uh, this next step we're going to start creating the clusters right the cluster stars and then again I'm going to show you and then I'm going to pause the video and then do it and then from there on you'll be able to see how it looks and if you're following along you can uh, do it yourself at the same time okay using the clone stamp tool looks like a stamp um, alt key anywhere and select an area and then you just kind of brush on it looks like uh, uh, I don't know areas anywhere just randomly again always randomly again your own intuitive just wherever you feel it could use a bit of a cluster and you can switch back and forth between normal mode and screen here okay I'm gonna just uh, keep doing this it's just all it is is going from screen and and then you can uh, hit the alt alt key select a new area and just just wherever you feel it uh, could use a cluster. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, finish this. Okay, now that's the final result here after using the clone stamp tool. And uh, like I said before, it's just based on your gut feeling. That's, there's no actual science to it. And uh, just the clone stamp tool. And just go around and create these um, star clusters as you wish. Okay, next step Control J again. Oops. Control J copies the layer. Uh, I'm going to apply a filter to it. Blur. Uh, Gaussian blur of about seven. Yeah, about seven. And then what I'm going to do is put this layer on linear dodge. So what it does is just creates a um, sort of a diffuse glow there where the uh, concentration of stars are the most All right so it creates a kind of a glow you can do it again if you want you can um, control J that layer again like uh, control J and then again uh, blur Gaussian blur and this time set it maybe at 2 Hit OK and then put that layer again to in your dodge and it just creates it even stronger a stronger um, glow so you can do that as many times as you want okay okay I'm gonna I'm gonna name this layer glow yeah this is also glow they're just two glow levels layers okay from here on I'm going to hit control B which will bring up the color balance you can also get the color balance here and uh, this is up to you it's you can make it any color you want uh, I might go for a blue something like that it's a nice blue and hit okay so you're kind of uh, getting a blue if 
fix the screen so you can see that it's got a kind of blue now the next thing is to create the um, like giant stars or lens flare stars for this you want to create a new layer create a new layer here I'm going to fill it with black alt backspace because it was black I'm going to set this layer to linear dodge or you can use screen if you're using an older version of uh, Photoshop that doesn't have linear dodge and then from here I'm going to set filter render lens flare and I'll take this one and 100% strength is good and I'm going to hit this okay now uh, obviously it's a little bit too big right and you're also seeing the bokeh the lens flare artifacts and a green dot over here which wouldn't be quite right so simple just get rid of it with the eraser first re reduce the size Control t of that particular layer of that star you might want to hold the shift key to keep it nice and uh, in proportion something like this and place it wherever you want I just wanted to place it in there and um, I can move over a little bit. Make it part of that. Okay. And hit yes. And then you're gonna see the you're gonna see the background a little bit. So you can just do that with the eraser, the eraser tool. Increase the size just a little bit. And just erase that edge that you're seeing there course of the artifacts and whatever else you can erase that as well if you're still seeing the bokeh I think I still see the bokeh a bit from the lens flare and with this you can just tune it up and, and the thing is for each star you're gonna have to create another layer right so Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a bit, and the most of all, I'm going to just duplicate that layer. Control J, and I'm just going to move it to somewhere else. It's over here, per se, perhaps, and then Control T, which holding the Shift key resizes it. I just place it over here. And yes, and uh, if there's a racer needed, a little bit on uh, the bottom of it, and the racer. Yeah, okay, and then just continue on in that fashion. Just as, make as many as you want. Control J, Control T to resize it, and then erase and place it wherever you want on the screen I'm going to just pause the video for a second okay now there we for this is what I created I mean everyone will look different but uh, now we're approaching the last step in the tutorial which is to add some color and this uh, what you call space dust so basically what I want to do is I grab a brush the brush tool and um, what you want to do uh, no, that's fine. What we'll do is I will add a texture to the brush. So to do that, you come here, and then here you'll select your whatever texture. Out of there, you just select that, and you can click to select the texture. You added a texture to your brush, right? And, okay. And to start off with, I might choose a bright color, maybe, like a really bright pink, right? and um, we go back to the brush and I'll put the opacity to 17% uh, linear dodge leave it on linear dodge brush is about 43 make it 30 and uh, just uh, gently put on some uh, colors there and actually let's, let's create a new layer I'm going to put that on top of the star layer and I will brush on there and I put this one on linear dodge as well and uh, control C there we go 
and um, new layer. Remove the layer again. And on this layer, I just uh, brush on the oops, here dodge, and uh, dr brush on the uh, space dust, basically all around the areas that I wherever you want. And uh, again, this is just arbitrary. Wherever you want to, wherever you feel it, it fits. Like for example here there's too much, just take the eraser and you can just erase it out again. Just to give it this slight nuance. Sometimes it's just good to apply it first and then just go with the eraser and the erase it a little bit if there's too much. You know. And uh well, that's basically it. That's basically the end of this tutorial. And uh it's just arbitrary and it just takes a little bit of practice to get the look that you want and uh, that's about it okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks